What's going on with you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, from down here at Dynamics Music. And today, I want to hit you with something uh, absolutely amazing. Of course, everything that I do, I think is absolutely amazing. Um, but I had a question that came in that basically asked, Hey, John, can you speed up or slow down uh, a track inside of main stage? Um, you know, like if I'm playing to a click track or playing to a set of stems or whatever the case may be, can I slow them down or speed them up just like I do inside of uh, Ableton Live? Because that's one of the key features of Ableton that people like using it live because you can easily speed up or slow down a track just by adjusting the BPM. Well, I want to make an announcement to you. It is possible to uh, speed up and slow down tracks inside of main stage. And of course, I'm about to show you how to do it. Very simple, very easy. So what I did is I loaded inside of main stage, inside the playback plugin, a click track, you know, that I'm played that I play to on Sunday. So let's check it out and see how it sounds. Very simple. All right. So you know, I would loop this and just have it play. So what if I want to use that for a different song, you know, but it, I like the feel of it, but it's a bit too fast for what I want to do. Uh, it's very simple. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go here to this little area right here that says sync and you're going to turn sync on. All right. Once you turn it on, it automatically slaves uh, the tempo uh, of uh, the playback plugin to uh, the uh, main stage tempo or, right, or what have you. So then once you've done that, you want to go over here to this little gear, click on that and go to flex mode. And if you're dealing with something that is rhythmic or something that is percussive, then you definitely want to change it to rhythmic. All right. Uh, if you're dealing with something that is uh, more, um, Synthy or actually has a tone to it, then you want to use uh, polyphonic or monophonic. Like if you're trying to slow down uh, a bass or a some keys or some something that's an instrument, you know, tone based, then you want to use polyphonic or monophonic. Uh, you can kind of play around with it to uh, see which one works best for you. But because we're doing a click track or a drum track, uh, we're going to use rhythmic. All right. So that's all you need to do is make sure that it's sync is on and go to rhythmic. Then all you have to do is, is adjust the tempo. Make sure that you have change tempo to checked here by clicking on the patch, making sure you go to attributes uh, and then check box change tempo to, right? So now that I've done that, all I have to do is adjust the tempo. So is that 141? Let's play it. And let's bring it down while we're playing it. Speeding it up, slowing it down. Of course, results will vary based on how many transients in the track, but that's like that in Ableton Live. I mean, if you slow something down, uh, depending on how the transients are in the track, it's gonna give you some, you know, some some different type of effects or what have you. But that is simply how you speed up or slow down something inside of main stage uh, if you need to. So that's all for today. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, hope this helped you guys, hope this blessed you. So you know how we do, share this video, Facebook this video, Tweet this video and holler at your boy.